Hi there. Now here we have a typical question based on applying newton raphson procedure to a function f of x. So if you'd like to have a go at this question, haven't had a chance to uh, do it, then I'll just give you a moment to pause the video, have a go. When you come back, you can check your methods and work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So in the first part, then, we've got to show that there's a root alpha for this equation, f of x equals naught in this interval, 1.1 to 1.5. And to do this, all we need to do is check for a change in sign. So we just do f of 1.1, let x be 1.1, substitute it into here, and you should find that you get minus 1.63. 596 and so on okay and if you do f of 1.5 then you end up with a positive value so you're expecting a change of sign and that positive value is 2.01417 and so on what you need to say though is that there's been a sign change and that's not sufficient. What you've got to say as well is that f of x is continuous. There's no breaks in the curve. And so if it's continuous, therefore, there must be a root in that interval between 1.1 and 1.5. All right? So that's the first part, part A, then. Now, for the next part, part B, we've got to find the first differential of f of x. So if we differentiate this with respect to x, then the first term for x cubed, that's going to be equal to 3x squared. And then for this term here, bring the x to the power 3 upon 2 up to the top. That becomes x to the power minus 3 over 2. So when you multiply it with the 5 over 2, the minus 5 over 2, I should say, you're going to get plus 15 over 4 times x to the power minus 5 over 2. And then differentiate 2x. That's going to be plus 2, and the constant minus 3 goes to 0. OK, so that is the first differential of f of x. And in part c now, we've got to use newton raphsons procedure, just taking our first approximation as 1.1 to get another approximation. So what is newton raphsons procedure? Well, we should be familiar with the formula that the n plus 1th value of x is equal to the previous value of x minus f of xn divided by f dash there of xn. And we've already worked out a few of these values. We can see that to get x1, that's when n equals 0, it's going to equal x0, which is 1.1. And then we've got to do minus f of 1.1, that's x0 here, all divided by the first differential of f of x, where we substitute 1.1 in. And we need to get this result here, f dash of 1.1. So let's just go and get that first of all. So f dash of 1.1. Just substitute 1.1 then into here, and what you end up with is 8.58494, and so on. So we're in a position now just to say that therefore x1 will be 1.1, then plus, it's going to be plus because f of 1.1, which we've got up here, was a negative value, so it's going to be plus 1.1. 63596 and so on and that's divided by f dash of 1.1 so that value there 8.58494 and so on 
And if you work that out in your calculator, you should find you get 1.2905 and so on. And we've got to give this to three decimal places. So to three decimal places, it's going to be 1.2901 to 3dp for short. Okay.